Hey, good morning. Oh, I forgot to put my watch on. Well, it's about 6.45 or 7 a.m. on Monday, August 7th, 2023. A lot of kids going back to school today. And I'm still happy I wanted to show you with my lighter here, electronic lighter for my candle. So, uh, let me get this where maybe you can see. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Gee whiz, I've got this on a gooseneck. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. Okay. Okay, hopefully you saw that. So it gets charged up with a USB thingy, and this shows how much charge it has. Oh, if I turn it on. There we go. Oh, let me stand it up now. <laughs> and then you push a little button. And you can turn this any way you need to to light the candles. So... It's very handy. I don't have to keep matches around. I don't have to use those, um, the disposable lighter thing. Let's see, no. You know, the big plastic things and it makes the flame come out. So this is really nice and it's small. Um, in my little utility drawer, I just keep the box that it came in and let's see. So this is the little wire that attaches to the end of it. And then this thingy goes in the end. This goes in a USB in a socket and it charges it up. It just takes, I don't know, not long at all. I mean, maybe an hour or something, maybe not even that long. So that's been really handy. So look, this morning I decided, in case there's any dust in there, when I was in Italy for three months, oh dear, 50 years ago, actually, I think in about three weeks, it'll be exactly 50 years ago that I went over there. Oh my gosh. Uh, really, I don't know if a person as they age ever gets used to, you know, it's like most of your life, you grow up thinking, wow, somebody in their 70s is really old. And then when you yourself are in your 70s and, you know, you tell your age, it's like, you're still thinking, whoa, that's old, because you don't feel like what your impression the whole rest of your life was of somebody who was in their 70s. Anyhow, okay, so let's warm up the machine here. I have a capsule of Venezia, all right? So I was gonna say, when I was in Italy, I would have espresso uh, with sugar. So I'm going to make an espresso here and then I'm just going to put some sweetener in it. Uh, I don't know, I got Splenda, I got Equal, I got Sucralose, I got Sweet and Low, let's see. I got Skinny Syrup, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put a Splenda in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it here. The Venezia capsule is very close, as all, um, all of the uh, Inspirazione Italiana Nespresso coffees are to a real Italian espresso. Okay, so there it is. First, I'm going to, well, you know, I always say give that, put some of the crema back in. Okay, 
going to try it without first. It's, it's good like that. Oh, it's good. You know, it's funny because it's strong, but it's not bitter. Very often with American coffees, when they're strong, they're also bitter, but not with this stuff. Okay, now how much do I put in? Boy, when I was in Italy, <laughs> I think I probably put two or three spoonfuls in, but I was like, you know, 20, 21. I'll put in just some and we'll see here. Oh, that tastes so much like what I remember having in Italy 50 years ago. Oh my goodness. Mmm, that is delicious. Wow. So, you know, if you haven't given it a try, go ahead and do it. Uh, if you're in a hurry in the morning and you just need a shot of caffeine, this is pretty quick to drink. I'd say two or three swallows and you got it down. Um, but you can also sit and savor it. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm not even going to put any milk in it. Well, listen, I hope you have a great day today. If you're going back to school, I especially hope you have a great day. Be kind to your teachers. They work very hard. And parents, support your kids. Help them study at home. Don't expect the teachers to do it all. Okay, I'll talk to you later.